Grace, peace, and mercy all. This is Pastor Chris from Spruce Run Lutheran. We got some good news the other day. Hunterdon County is now down to 10 cases per 100,000. Um, now, you might remember back to the video I did where we talked about uh, the conditions under which we're gonna be able to move back to in-person indoor worship. And one of the big ones was hitting that number. So what our plan is, is that now that we've hit that number, we're gonna give about a two week period where we're going to be kind of waiting and seeing and planning and prep preparing. And we're waiting to make sure that um, cases really are going down and staying down, that it isn't just a fluke. Um, but it seems like uh, the way we've been sort of vaccinating ourselves out of the pandemic, that uh, it hopefully is not a fluke. So, what all this means is on May 16th, we're going to be doing a dry run of indoor in-person worship. So we're going to be inviting um, a lot of the leaders who regularly do some sort of leadership position in worship. So everyone from ushers to altar guild to um, those who are assisting ministers and of course musicians as well. And we're going to be getting us all uh, in worship, doing a dry run of what it looks like to worship in person indoors to, on one hand, notice anything that we've just sort of forgotten that we need to keep in mind when we're doing in, indoor in-person worship, but also making sure we're all on the same page with uh, safety considerations and things like that. So that's going to be on May 16th at 10 a.m., so what that means for sort of the general populace who's been uh, faithfully attending and worshiping with us uh, remotely, uh, what that means for you all is that we're going to be sending a link to you, probably not on YouTube, but instead via Facebook Live. So, so it'll be a little different. Luckily, you don't need to be on Facebook to, to um, experience Facebook Live. So that should still be working for you. But again, this uh, dry run is one of those places where we're going to be making sure that all kind of fits together and works well. So again, that'll be May 16th, 10 a.m. Now, the week after that, May 23rd, is a pretty exciting week, pretty exciting Sunday. On one hand, it's Pentecost, the day we get to celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. So that's a a pretty, pretty big deal in of itself. But also, it is the Sunday where we're going to be installing me as Spruce Run's pastor. So up till this point, I've been your called pastor, but not your installed pastor. So there's not really a big uh, shift going on there other than that we're going to be doing this really sort of lovely uh, uh, liturgy where we, we officially, uh, you know, in a ritual way say, yep, this is, this is the guy who is the, the, the person who is um, the pastor of this place. So that's gonna be taking place on May 23rd at 10 a.m. Our current plan is it's going to be occurring out in our, um, in our uh, upper uh, parking lot. So not the lower one where we've done a couple things, but the upper parking lot. And that, that's just sort of to make sure we have enough space for the number of people that might come. Um, you know, we're being optimistic that a few more people will show up because it's Pentecost and because it is um, my installation. So again, that'll be 10 a.m. May 23rd. Uh, Assistant to the Bishop Dean Brown will be uh, presiding over the service and installing me. Then on May 30th, uh, we'll be provided, you know, Creek don't rise and numbers don't rise. Our first uh, indoor worship service. So this will be indoor in person. Uh, we'll, we'll be sending out more information about um, all the particulars, but we'll be uh, fitting all the, the protocols that we were doing back uh, before November. So if you can remember back to what, what all you were doing in worship then, that's what we'll be up to again. So this is all good news. We're we're, we're able to kind of put things back together and I'm really looking forward to us getting back to a regular Sunday schedule and from there kind of 
figuring out the various ways um, we put put everything back together here at Spruce Run and uh, figure out what the this new world looks like on the other side of COVID. Um, again, not that we're there yet, but we're, we're we're definitely in a positive direction, it seems, and thank God for that. So with that, have a wonderful day, and God bless.